This June's Plymouth Half Marathon is likely to be its biggest yet. Earlier, some of the 7,000 or so runners expected were at the official launch. Many of those who take part have good reason to do so, whether it's to raise money for charity or awareness for a good cause. Yes, one couple from Plymouth are running in memory of their son, who was just two years old when he died. Callum Watkinson reports. When Simon and Nicola Haig lace up their shoes for the Plymouth Half Marathon in June, they'll have a very special reason for running. It will then be almost a year since they lost their two-year-old son Ethan to an incurable nerve disease. Throughout his life, he received care at the Little Bridge Children's Hospice near Barnstable, and now his parents want to give something back to the charity without which they say they could never have coped. Little Bridge helped us make his final days more peaceful, gave us the time alone to spend with him without too much pressure from other people because we've had support throughout Ethan's life from family and friends and we just wanted that time to be alone with him. Tay-Sachs disease afflicts roughly one in 300,000 people, mainly babies. For the first six months of their lives, children show no symptoms, but this is followed by a steady deterioration in hearing, sight and mobility, and there is no cure. The care given to the family during Ethan's life continued after his death, with the hospice offering far more than just a shoulder to cry on. Practically, um, they arranged a lot of things with the funeral director and looking after the funeral arrangements. Although we knew he was dying and we knew the time was coming, when it actually happens, you're not prepared for it. I don't care what anybody says, you're not prepared. When the day it happens, you just hit a whirlwind. They took his footprints, they made casts of his hands and feet, which we wouldn't have thought to do that. The couple admit that they're not natural athletes, but they felt this was a fitting way to show the enormous gratitude they feel. It's something we'll never be able to repay them for, never. No matter how much money we raise or give to them, or you, you can't put a price on it, on that sort of care, you can't. Children's Hospice South West now has three sites across the region and its need for funds is greater than ever. Nicola and Simon may have said goodbye to the little boy they called their angel, but when they run in June, they will do so as a tribute to the charity that helped them to find a way through. Callum Watkinson for the West Country tonight.